Hey Luke here with GatsonCarp.com and it's another day. Um, I've got a lot of things on my plate. I'm going to court, go do a couple DUI trials, um, a couple reckless driving trials, but after that I'm going to be pretty open so I'm going to come home early and start working on videos. And Oh, it's going to be a long day. Now, I've got a couple videos I'm working on. I'm working on my boat video where I'm fixing up my boat uh, and uh, going to show you how to like prepare fiberglass and paint it and things like that. And I've got a blacksmithing video coming up where I bought an anvil and some material. I'm going to build a forge and I'm going to do some blacksmithing projects. But it's getting a little crazy. But unfortunately, this happened again. My garage is trashed. So I need to clean this out before I can work on a lot of these videos. But while I do that, I'm going to give you a sneak peek at some of the things coming up. So for instance, this right here is um, a new Luz and Daiwa bass rod. I'm going to be doing some bass gear review, bass fishing gear reviews and some, I uh, got some nifty stuff coming up. And oh, see my telescopic rods, I've got a new carp fishing gear view, video. There's a lot of stuff. Oh. But anyway, before I can do all that, I gotta go do some work. So uh, we'll see what happens. Well, I'm finally home. Uh, court. Court was tough. <laughs> Turned out taking a lot more time than I thought. Um, yeah, I had a decent trial, did okay. Uh, but now it's time to do the garage, so. The garage is so warm. Yeah, so me and Tommy, we're gonna clean up the garage here and the garage really needs some cleaning. Wow, that's a whole mess. <laughs> yeah, it is a whole mess, isn't it? Oh, check out these. I am so jazzed about this. These are a really light action carp rod, about a two pound test curve rod. Uh, they telescope about 12 feet. Really light in the hand. I have to love these rods. These are really awesome. So I've got a trip planned uh, for these. I'm hoping to take these up to Philadelphia to go fishing for uh, carp with uh, Leo from Extreme Philly Fishing. But uh, I'm waiting on just some, a number of things to fall into place before we can do that. But that's, stay tuned, that's coming up. That's my field. That's my field in there, my box. This is a carp chum I'm experimenting with. It's uh, feed cubes. Um, they sink actually, and they they break up into this stuff. I think they'd be really good for grass carp, but uh, not 100% sure. Be nasty. Yeah. And good. check this out. These, this right here. This is a poultry game bird block. This is really good for chumming with carp. You chuck this into the lake, and it slowly breaks down over time. If you're gonna chum like once, uh, like a couple days in advance, this is a good way to do it. The fish can't gobble it up all quickly. Is it time to clean out the garage? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Who's got folders strength like me? I got folders bear strength like you. Awesome. Yeah. Got some working space. I don't know if I'd call it clean, but I have room to work. <laughs> Well, I just got back from another day at court and, and uh, it's time to get building on that blacksmith forge. I finally cleaned the garage so I can work on my boat and I can work on this smithing project. So for some reason I volunteered to teach a bunch of boys how to forge stuff um, and I 
don't have a forge anymore, so I need to build a new one. So I'm gonna go do that and be making a video about it. And me and Tommy are gonna go to the hardware store and that should be fun. So he's putting on pants and uh, we're gonna go on a little field trip. Bye bye, mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, come on, let's go out. Let's go to the car. No, the white car. We're going to the silver car. All righty. All right. Watch out. Please. Yeah, let's see. Wow, it's very heavy. Oh, it's so heavy. We mm. got polar bear string. Yeah, we do gotta use polar bear string. Here, watch out, Nathan. Those guys are so Here, watch out, don't wanna squish my boy. Let's go. Hold on tight. Don't fall. All right. Yeah, you were crazy fast. Yeah, I did. Polar bear strings. All right, yeah, so we could fit in all the lumber. All right, we ready? Yeah. All right, let's go home. It's day three of the forge project and I realized I cannot find my carpenter's square. <sighs> Despite cleaning my garage, I have no idea where it's at. So I'm um, one of those frustrating moments when you're driving all the way to the hardware store to pick up one $5 piece of equipment. Alrighty, there we go. There we go, Tom. <laughs> You're being very helpful. <laughs> you are helpful. Well, it's coming along. Look, look at that. Yeah, it's uh, not fine craftsmanship by any stretch, but not too bad for a hammer and a handsaw. And uh, my area of expertise lies in other fields, but I'm gonna get it done. Um, Nathan's been playing with me, and that's been super fun. Uh, he is just having a ball hanging out here with Dad, and uh, we're, we're now we're gonna go have some dinner. But uh, gotta take a break. Yes, eat dinner with us. Come on, Nathan. Wait, Nathan, what are you doing on the table? Off the table, Mabel. These two bits. Okay, man, down. <laughs> Well, it's day four of my forge project. The forge was working last night, and now I need to mount my anvil and uh, actually start building stuff. I need to make some metal tongs, not to be confused with metal thongs, which would be a chastity belt. So, let's see how that goes. First, we need some breakfast, and Nathan's full of poop, so we need to go change that. My baba claba on. You want me to put your baba claba on? That's fun, you, you want to be a ninja, right? Yeah, by myself and sorry. Okay. Ah, ninja Tommy, <laughs> assassin of the cold. Yeah, guys, it's cold out, isn't it? Let's go and get in the woods. Well, we got to go get a stump. We need a big chunk of wood. Okay, yeah, chainsaws. Great, great invention. Much faster than hand sawing, unless you count all the time it takes to find your wrench, adjust the chain, 
put oil in it, find the gas, get the gas in it, figure out why it's not running, get it to idle, blah, 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 blah. So 45 minutes later, hopefully it's ready to start cutting. Uh, the chain's probably duller than dull too, so. Uh. We'll get some, let's we'll get a log. Yeah, a lot of you, I don't think you guys have ever seen my property before, but this is my backyard. Well, uh, maybe getting the chainsaw out was kind of pointless. I think uh, this might do the trick. Oh. Broke a drill bit off. Wow, never done that. Yay! Let's get that out. Last. Let's let that smoke for a little bit. What are you doing down there? Mm. Hey, Nathan. Mm. What are you doing down there? Mm. Tell me, you're waking up. You want to go in the hardware store? Mm. You can hold on to the car. Oh. Hold on tight. Alrighty, well, for the second time today, we're going to the hardware store to pick up parts. I need a drill bit and some rod iron. If you like this video, check out some of our other great videos, including a vlog about me and Tommy going to court and the Bass Pro Shop incident where Tommy and Nathan sabotaged the Bass Pro Shop Aquarium. At any rate, click subscribe for new videos every week.